So I want to talk about houses. When I was a kid, my parents divorced when I was about 10 years old and going back and forth uh, living with one or the other. Uh, eventually we lost our big beautiful uh, family home in the Hollywood Hills, Beechwood Canyon. And it was a magnificent house, like three and a half stories tall, kind of built like a castle with a turret that you could go up in a tiny round room and look out the um, little slit windows like they used to use for shooting arrows out of and a uh, big backyard and uh, a stream running through it dry though but amazing and we had a huge tortoise tortoise named morris that lived there it was about half the size of a manhole cover and morris would hibernate in the winter and uh, it was kind of the root of our lives <clears throat> the neighborhood of course and the house itself and our friends and neighbors and there was a period where we were living in the house with my father and his girlfriend Kim and we lost the house it was getting repossessed and my father was so angry I don't remember what we did with our possessions getting them out but he ran around the house and he nailed all the windows shut from the inside to kind of just destroy the house, make it harder and less valuable to the people that got it. And uh, the anger and frustration and uncertainty we went through and the years of maybe poverty that we went through after that uh, had a big effect on me and I can see in retrospect it really scared my father about owning houses again when he got wealthy and his partners and people around were investing in houses in the 70s real estate boom in Los Angeles he never could bring himself to finally pull the trigger, sign a contract, and get a house or two. Uh, he had a lot of money and it was not really invested. And eventually, towards the end of his life, he ended up with zero. But um, I too have resisted owning a house and have looked forward to more of the life of a uh, Dalai Lama, you know, who uh, just does beautiful things and other people take care of his housing and bills. Um, I don't know if that's fair to the other people, but uh, that's been the gravity that keeps carrying me to where I am and what I do, period. I remember in my early days of dating Paula, when it looked like we were getting serious and I just told her look no matter what happens in the future if we get a house put it in your name if we break up you keep it I don't want to fight over it and I think that's a thing where uh, I just don't want to fight over somebody I've against somebody who I've had a relationship with and who I cared about even if they now seem like ogres and villains there's a lot you share together and that's real and um, shouldn't be discounted so I would say that in many ways you by standard terms of what we look for in society and people and their identity and character that's been a weakness of mine and um, I've got many strengths I know that to be true so I'm concentrating on my strengths and uh, but it's better for me to make up that weakness with my partner because uh, I'm not fully equipped to stand on my own. That's my assessment. You can tell me what you think.